in this video I will be talking about data pre-processing. Data pre-processing is the initial phase of data mining. Data mining is the process of extracting hidden knowledge, patterns, hidden patterns from huge volume of data. And whatever result that is generated by the data mining used for decision making processes. Hidden patterns means the patterns which are not known easily. In the database, we can use the SQL select statement to extract data information. But whatever we extract using select statement, we already know what will be the output. But that is not case with the data mining. It extracts hidden knowledge, hidden patterns. Pattern means what we can say is if the data birth a person is X, district is Y, province is Z, then he or she will purchase computer. That is the pattern. We are using different combination of attributes, different attributes combination. Similarly, if a person buys product X, he or she will also buy product Y. That is the pattern. And these kind of patterns cannot be easily extracted using SQL statement. We have to do rigorous processing to extract these kind of patterns. And this is the work of data mining. Okay. Now, first, what we have to understand is in order to in order to do data mining, we need consistent, clean, complete data. There should not be any kind of noise within the data. Here I have considered one simple table containing 10 records of 10 different people. Data birth, name, district, province, gender are given. But in this table here we can see province of two records are empty. Similarly, gender of one of the record is missing. Similarly, date of birth of one of the person is missing. Similarly, we can find inconsistency within the data also. Here, for gender, somewhere male is written, somewhere yam is written, somewhere yaf is written, somewhere female is written. Similarly, Kathmandu, KTM. Actually, KTM is abbreviation of Kathmandu. The Kathmandu and KTM represent the same thing, but two values are written to represent the same thing. That is the inconsistency. So what we can do is we can write some code to correct these inconsistencies, this incompleteness. Okay, if there is a huge volume of data, in that case we may be able to eliminate some of the records which have empty values. We can do that. But if there are not used records, then we have to fill those empty cells manually. Now let's see how we can do this data pre-processing using Python. Okay, I will be writing simple code here import pandas as pd then df is equal to pg dot now let's read the csv file this is the csv file csv okay double quote control z now this data dash sample dash one dot csv is the name of the file now let's display the content of this file print df actually when we run this execute this method it will read this csv file and retrieve the content to this variable df okay whatever table whatever data set is stored within this csv file the all the data will be stored within this df and using the print method we can display this content okay now let's run this run module now you can see the content here. whatever file we are seeing in the excel now we are extracting using the python Pandaj. Okay, now let's do some cleaning here. First, let's see how to drop the records. Okay, df dot drop in a then in place is equal to true. Now, using this drop in a method, we can remove the records with the empty cells. Okay, now let's run this. Now we can see we are not having records with NAN values. Okay, null values. Okay. So, so if there is a huge volume of data, then we can remove some of the records which have no values. But here we are very little record. So let's see how to fill in those empty cells. Now df dot fill na is the method. Fill na is the method which is used to uh, fill in the empty cells. First, I will ensure data birth. Okay, dov. Then let's write dov2002-09-09. Then, then, then let's close the bracket. In place is equal to true. Now, what this function will do is function fill na. It will insert this value 
in the column DOB. In this DOB column, wherever empty cell exists within this column, there this value will be inserted. Okay, control S. I will delete this value one. Okay, let's make two empty cells. Okay, let's I've saved this CSV file. Now run this. Now we can see this. What was my value? Okay, 09, 09 here. Here also we can see two. 2002 09 09 is inserted in two different empty cells okay so in this way using this fill na method fill na method we can insert a value to the column okay, where empty cells exist similarly we can be inserting data birth and gender okay not data birth province we are having two cells in the province column pr of province let's make it bagmati Now date of now gender we are missing one gender in the last record for Mina there is no gender she is female okay now we execute this run module okay we can see female is here Bagmati okay so in this way using this fill any method and specifying the column and value we can insert values to the empty cell within that particular column okay now let's do some corrections let's remove noise here ktm katmanu let's correct this female yaf male yum let's correct this value for this we will be looping through this all records okay for yax in df dot index that will provide us record okay we will be iterating record by record if okay d of dot loc yucks then then what we have to do is district now we are specifying district of each row yucks will be giving us each row okay row by row one by one we'll be iterating if x district is equal to ktm then what we have to do we have to make it cut one down okay Control C, tab Control V. I'm missing colon here. Okay, let's do this. K T H M A N D O. Cut one. Similarly, we have to correct the Bhaktapur also. Control C, Control V. If district is B T K, B T K, then it should be Bhaktapur. B H A K T A P similarly kapil bastu is there we have to correct the spelling here if k a p i l bastu b a s if just a kapil bastu then we have to make it k a p i l v a s t u okay let's do the correction of gender also control v if the gender is equal to yum okay then we have to make it male Okay, control C then control V in case of the female yes we have to make it okay what we are doing is we are iterating through the whole record set whole data frame okay and each record will be retrun and stored within the X and for each record we are checking district and gender if we, in this case if the district of district value is ktm in a record it will be replaced by katmando if in any one of the record if the gender is m then that gender will be made male and so on okay now let's save this now let's execute this one okay perfect now we can see here now here we are having only two genders either male or female no yum no yaf we have updated it we have corrected that noise okay Similarly, there is Kathmandu, there is no KTM. We have updated that also. In this way, we can use this simple Python code to data cleaning. We can make data consistent within using this simple Python code. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much.